glitter is always a party. So this one is in the shade a party. It's in the shade party. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we have an AliExpress haul. I've got a bunch of makeup to show you. I will probably be testing out some of this makeup in an upcoming video so if you are interested in any of the products like in particular could you comment downstairs just to let me know what you would really really be keen to see me test out anyway without further vaginas let's get right into the haul i mean really guys the first product that i'm going to show you is one that literally just arrived on my well not my doorstep because i actually well i do have a doorstep but it's not really big enough to call itself a doorstep. It's more like a door trip hazard because you could trip over it. I don't know, it just does not seem to fit the bill for a doorstep. Anyway, who cares? This palette by, like, I, I don't know, I have no recollection of buying this. And I know I kind of say that a lot. And you're probably watching this thinking, A, does she have dementia? Or B, was she stoned? Like, or just worse on crack i mean I promise neither of those things but this turned up today i'm not hating it because it actually looks kind of good so this is the febble boudoir shadows oh my gosh like boudoir shadows Ooh, should i be wearing my lace negligee when i test this out so this is what it looks like super super cute and then inside you have a substantial mirror, which actually, you know, in the scheme of, of mirrors, it looks pretty crisp. And then these, oh my gosh, can I get this off? No, what? Normally they just come straight off, but not today. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are the eyeshadows. There are nine. It looks like five of them are kind of shimmers. And then the four on the outskirts um, are mattes. I think the actual kind of colour family within this palette is really, really beautiful. It's extremely cool toned. It's my kind of like perfect palette. It does remind me a little bit of the Urban Decay Naked One palette, just because it's got those kind of beautiful kind of metallic coppers, like a rose gold, a very beautiful kind of pinky undertoned like silver i'm just really down with like all of these shades i think the matte selection is also like really really clever considering the shimmer shades this could potentially be a very versatile palette and i feel like i could actually get a lot of use from this however we don't know are the shadows shit like they could be shit but you know what maybe not and in that case i'm going to be so happy shall we just swatch one we're going to swatch this one at the top oh my gosh it feels so soft wow okay <gasps> mm. oh my gosh like literally i don't even know where this palette came from like i do not remember buying it but look at this guys look how wet that looks on my finger oh my gosh i, I just live for a good wet look shimmer <gasps> Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Oh, guys, it's supremely creamy, soft, silky, and it looks very metallic, and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm so tempted to, like, swatch all of the palette, but I'm going to resist because I want to kind of test the whole thing out in in a first impression so oh my gosh like guys this looks so so pretty we're going to be testing that one out very soon okay so next we have a gel eyeliner this is by the brand music flower and it's called the lasting drama gel eyeliner it just claims to be a long wearing creamy gel that gives you an intense but smooth line waterproof they've said our full waterproof I think we're missing a P there. Anti-sweat. Is that not waterproof? Like, why do these AliExpress brands feel the need to stress something is anti-sweat and waterproof? Like, can we not just go with waterproof? Because anti-sweat? I mean, I can sweat. I can sweat. I'd be, I'm not known for sweating, of course, but 
you know, everybody sweats, we're humans. I don't want my product to say anti-sweat because that just makes me feel like I'm some kind of sweaty gorilla. I don't know, guys, that, that's probably just me and I should not be getting offended by this. Um, oh my gosh, I hate myself right now, literally. Oh my gosh, this is purple. Oh gosh, guys, like I was thinking, oh my gosh, it's black. It's a black gel eyeliner. It's sweat proof. This is purple schmurple. Like I, I was thinking, there's something I'm not remembering about this product, which let's face it, isn't a big surprise when, you know, I can't remember half the products I buy. I mean, it's a godsend I even remember buying this one. Okay, I say godsend, by the way, I'm an atheist. So, I mean, really, but guys, oh, what? This looks shit. This looks like the shittiest, littlest brush ever. Like, I mean, I'm not down with that. Why won't it come out? Oh my gosh, like literally, are you here to test me today? Music flower, get the feck out. She still isn't coming, guys. Mm, okay. Okay, so this is what she looks like. She actually looks to be a very kind of vibrant purple. She also looks to be a little bit metallic. Like, I don't really get matte vibes from this. Oh my gosh, she is sexy. I'm looking forward to trying her actually. I will definitely be putting her to the test soon. Hopefully she's amazing. I don't have much experience in gel eyeliners, so I probably won't do it very well, but we can still kind of test out the product and see what it looks like. Okay, so next we've got a couple of nail polishes. I haven't really ventured into the world of nail polishes on AliExpress before. I just spotted a couple of like super metallic, pretty, glittery nail polishes and I just thought, well, why not give them a go? Like, I don't want to discriminate against AliExpress nail polishes. So I picked up two. I got one by the Real Chic brand and this one is in the shade 310. And I believe this is, is it like linear hollow? Because it does have like lots of tiny, tiny little glitters in there. But it's also got like a rainbow effect. So it looks kind of like a blue shade. But can you see the rainbow? Like the dual crop. Well, it's not a dual crop. It's like a rainbow look. Oh my gosh. I don't feel like this looks like much in the bottle. But I had this on the other day and it was sensational. Particularly in the sunlight. It just looked like beautiful. This is a really, really good nail polish and I am definitely going to be buying more of the Real Chic nail polishes because this was pretty bomb diggity. Bomb diggity down, down, down. Bomb, bomb diggity on my nails, please. All day, every day. But the next nail polish I got is one that I've not actually tried yet, but I will try it out soon and I will report back and let you know what I think of it but this one is by the Born Pretty brand oh my gosh guys she looks captivating she looks like an oil spill but in like a really pretty way look at this can you see all the different colors so this to me is intensely like metallic looking I wish you could actually see like how pretty it looks maybe if I bust out the flash you could see Look, can you see? Oh my gosh, is this making any difference whatsoever? I don't know. Like, is my... Oh yeah, my light's on. Good, good. Okay, so can you see, guys? I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Like, is this not the most unprofessional moment in my YouTube career? But anyway, guys, it's it looks so good. Like, so, so, so good. I mean, it's not helping to put my hand behind it either, is it really? This actually looks really kind of high class as well in its kind of matte black lid with a gold band I, I'm just down for it I'm feeling it I don't know why I didn't get into nail polishes from Aliexpress sooner I'm just down with it by the way just so you know this one is called the 3D Magnetic Aura Series and it's in the shade Astral Realm Astral Realm oh my gosh that sounds like it should be like something out of the Dark Crystal film have you seen the Dark Crystal film. Oh my gosh, that's a classic. I want you to, not right now, wait till the end of the video, but at the end of the video, YouTube Dark Crystal film and you will see the craziness and the beauty and the strangeness that is the Dark Crystal film. I used to love that. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. Okay, so next I got a product that I said I was not going to buy any more from AliExpress, but I did. I mean, I did. And I remembered buying it and I just was drawn in. It appeared to be on a bit of a search for, you know, that mascara that kept appearing on Instagram ads. It would make ladies' eye lashes look freakishly long. Like, we're not just talking like feathery. We're talking like insane alien from Mars looking eyelashes. Just crazy eyelashes. So anyway, I've been dying to actually try out a mascara that claims to do that. The couple that I have bought and tried were duds. Like, they were just like, not even a good mascara. Did a bit of research and I picked up this one, which is by the Silk brand, which I believe is the exact mascara that was used in the Instagram ads. This is a, like, a twin kind of product. So you have the actual, like, mascara. So this one is the, it just says Span Mascara. Okay, Span Mascara and Dense Mascara. Oh my gosh, this is called the Dense Mascara. So this is by the Bio Aqua brand. It's in the most unhelpful sentence ever. Lightly brush the slightest slim. What the feck is that? Like, really? But they tried. I mean, they tried. Compact, fine, velvet, dense brush. Paste uniformly adhered. From the root up to the tip. They've got full stops, like, after literally every second word. And it's doing my head in. Like, bad grammar? I can't be getting down with that. The stud is clearly shaping bushy beauty. Full stop. Brush out the slim. Full stop. Thick. Full stop after thick. They're getting down to like one word. Full stops now. Is not blooming. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So that thick curly eyelashes. Different look for long. Long in. What are these? Flying commas? No idea. Here's me talking about bad grammar. And I don't know what this is. Like, I'll just call them rabbit ears because that's what everyone calls them. What are these called? I don't know, guys. But anyway, I'm going to be trying this out of my own free will. I'm probably going to hate it. Like, I've hated every single other mascara I've ever tried from AliExpress. Your girl's a trier. Like, she's a trier. She's not giving up. Well, actually, I've long given up on a mascara from AliExpress. But I'm just, I want the crazily long eyelashes. Oh my gosh, like that would be so cool. Oh my gosh, do you know what I've just literally realised? I've had like my skanky makeup brush bag just there, just laying on the bed the whole time. What must you think of me right now? I mean, really. Got Nikki Tutorials with her fancy backgrounds. Jacqueline Hill, fabulous background. Tatty, fabulous background. And then you just got, not, but not that I'm comparing myself to any of these fabulous people by the way i'm just saying this is this is not not this is not this is not anyway guys so we have two more products to go the first one is by fuck 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 oh yeah yeah if you wanna fuck around that's fine if you wanna fuck up and then down that's fine, but just don't fuck around with my vagina. Vagina! Don't fuck around with my nipples. Ooh. Okay, so this basically is another one of their heavy glitter eyeliners. They, I think they missed out the word metal when they were trying to rip off Urban Decay. Uh, so they're just called the heavy glitter eyeliners, which... In, in all honesty, doesn't sound like something I would want on my fragile little eyelid. So I have a couple of these and I really, really like them. This is what it looks like. Just got like a really slim little one tip for you to create a fabulous, I call it the party eyeliner because glitter is always a party. So this one is in the shade, a party. It's in the shade party, oh my gosh. Yes, yes. For one, Sally Express actually has a really good name of a product. Party. This is a party. Holy vaginas. This is 
Ace of Party Eyes, oh my gosh. As well as using it as like an eyeliner, you can use it as an all over kind of lid glitter. I really, really recommend these. Just as good, well, I don't know actually, I've not tried the Urban Decay ones, but I can't imagine it's gonna be like hugely different for what is essentially an eyeliner with glitter in it pretty damn good okay so we've come to the final product and this is by the miss rose brand this is the liquid glow highlighter and i have this in the shade sun glow which is number four they have brought out i think four or five different shades and i mean i promised myself i wasn't going to buy any more liquid highlighters but as you know by now i don't stick to my promises like I, I don't. I'm just buying things left, right and centre, popping them in my basket, living my life. And I am unapologetic, like literally. But anyway, this one looked really, really special and I just did not want to pass it up. Largely because I'm a fan of the Miss Rose brand. So this is what she looks like. Very lovely. She looks lovely. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. She looks very creamy. And champagne -y. oh my gosh guys look at that is that not the most beautiful shade look at this it would look absolutely beautiful I think mixed in with like a BB cream even your moisturizer I just feel like it would add like a whole load of glow to your face or vagina like wherever you want to put it or even just to use it as like an all-over body glow Oh my gosh, I think it would be absolutely beautiful. It does look quite creamy, like it's not the meta most metallic of all the liquid kind of highlighters I've seen, but it looks very natural, which I really, really like because I do find that a lot of these kind of liquid kind of highlighters, because they are so metallic, they can look a little bit like intense and just a bit like artificial. Whereas I've just got a feeling this one would look really flattering and just natural you know that kind of natural dew i'm feeling really excited about this and so is my vagina okay so that brings us to the end of the video i feel like i've got a bunch of very intriguingly exciting products today i will be testing these out soon i'm probably just going to be testing out like every single one and we can see together if they're actually any good for now i'm gonna go i hope you have a wonderful day today thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye oh itchy under boob oh my gosh